Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here, CCX RC, and on the bench today, we have the Atomic RC Barbed Wire 3, just announced along with the Barbed Wire XL2, but it's the XL version. Last year they released the Barbed Wire 2. It's very similar, a little bit of upgrades to the, uh, the Barbed Wire 3, minimal, but uh, it does have a cool new black and yellow paint scheme. I really liked this paint scheme, but I'm digging this clean one even more. Uh, so basically, we'll just open up here. Powered by Venom batteries. I'm charging the Venom battery that came with it. So I'm not doing a real full unboxing for you guys because we did one for the two. Uh, so you get a battery like this, but it's blue, 1300 milliamp hour, 75C. This is one of mine that I already had from the barbed wire two. But in here, you've got a water-cooled brushless motor up front the esc tucked in up underneath there we've got our four channel receiver and our little servo back there it does have a metal metal aluminum rudder on it here and then it's got the little fins here on the side and the bottom something that the xl2 doesn't have but it's a little bit more stable anyway so um yeah we're gonna throw some batteries in it for you guys and show you some run footage these things are screaming fast we do have a little chop to the water, so we'll see how it does on glassy lake water, um, things like that. These things just rip. Might not be able to go as fast if we're getting air. You know, there's so much power that it'll actually just barrel roll. So we'll see. Let's do it. Good. We got our rates here. We're going to turn them up. I like a lot of steering and uh, should be good to go. These uh, you do tape up. They come with tape. The last one, I don't believe came with tape, the two. Didn't get a whole lot of water in there. This thing seals real tight, but I do have the tape in the bag here, so we'll put some on. Hopefully we're doing it all right. It'll stay sealed. Oh, airborne already. You can see how it kind of wants the barrel roll in those. I turn the steering down on this one a little bit more because it is so small. All right, here we go. We are definitely skipping it. So much power from this little thing. Gonna actually set the steering trim a little bit less to compensate for that. Oh, that's better. Kind of dialed it out in the steering trim. Oh, submarine. Submarine it. Gotta get that water out. Oh. these things just rip I will say I do like this boat better when there's no chop it's handling this pretty good though now going into it, it's gonna be different it's gonna jump a lot more so I'll just slow it down going into it but we can kind of ride across it and back pretty good so here we'll open it up oh <laughs> Man, this one is just a ripper. Rip it past it. Split it. Only 
half throttle so far. A little less chop right now. It's running a little bit easier here, it's full speed. Bring him back here, ripping. into a slow mode like this allows you to bring it back to shore so you don't kill your battery. <laughs> <laughs> 